Bueno, aquí otro día más. Eh, voy a ver qué hay por aquí. Robar documentos. No, esto no me atrevo todavía. Bueno, no tengo suficiente. Voy a ir por aquí a coger misiones. Y. Y ya está. Paso de meterme en problemas. A ver, por donde está el castillo. ¿Por dónde te puedo ir? A ver, por ahí. Sé que es una cuesta por el, por el vídeo de la intro. ¿Será por aquí? Bueno, yo voy, yo voy por aquí y no doy la vuelta. ¿Y esto qué es? Aquí no es. Menos mal que te diga, porque si no... Y espero que no tenga consecuencias de haber noqueado a gente. <risas> Eso está en otro... en otro... en otros otro vídeos. por aquí arriba ahora que llega el castillo me detengan por haber noqueado a gente pues bueno ¿qué se lo va a hacer? Mira, ahí hay misiones la primera misión que vea para hacer o sea, para no, no voy a robar yo a nadie porque en el castillo ni, ni loco me cogen, me crujen. Aquí hay la guardia. Papá. Who are you and where are you going? I'm Henry, son of the Scarlet's blacksmith. I'm going to see my liege, Sir Radzik Kabila of Dvoyets. Of course you are, lad, and I'm the Pope. What do you want from his lordship and what makes you think he'll see you? Uh, 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 uh. <sighs> I may not look the part, but I know about honor and duty. And mine is to tell Sir Radzik what happened to the sword he commissioned. Oh, right, exit It'll be your skin if Sir Radzik isn't pleased. Hostias. Exit Me deja pasar. Habiendo guardia. Ah, no. Ahora está ahí. Levantada con el campamento de de los refugiados Cornelius How? 
What are you doing here? I took you for dead. Oh, it's a long story. Well, what about you? How did you get out of Scalitz? You wouldn't believe it. A frightful storm broke that night and Sigismund's heathens ran back to their camp. They never dreamed Sir Radzik would use the storm as cover for our escape. The entire village slipped away as quiet as mice while no one watched. In the morning, when those bandits attacked, all they found was an empty castle with an old goat inside. I wish I could have seen their faces. <laughs> so do I. You trick them nicely. See you later. Me lo voy a robar el bolsillo. Eso es por la noche. A ver. Ahí había gente y ahora no. Qué rápido son. You there. Come here a moment. Vagabundo. Vamos a ver. My respect to you. What are you hanging around for? Don't you have any work to do? No, I don't. Sigismund's marauders took everything I had and reduced me to beggary. What's it about? Since I lost everything, I've been doing whatever I could to survive. Only, I got caught with my hand in someone else's pocket. And since then, I can't even set foot on the square without the catchpoles pouncing on me. So you're a pickpocket? All right, get to the point, but keep your hands where I can see them. <laughs> My honestly begged Russian were taken from me by that bastard of a guard, Pazdera. He claimed I stole them and took them for himself, the swine. Well, yeah. if you can get them from his pocket back into mine, where they rightfully belong, I'll give you a share and teach you a handy trick too. What do you say? Hey, coña. Yo que sí, right. pero... I reckon I can manage that. How much coin are we talking about? Everything he has on him. Half is yours. Hmm. It all sounds a bit fishy. Well, take it or leave it. But if you get my money back from Pazdera the guard, I'm sure I can put some more work your way. Take care now. No, 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 no. Roca. God be with you. How does life in Ratai suit you? I suppose it was kind of them to take us in. But then they just left us here to fend for ourselves. Nobody gives a damn about us. Did you find out what actually happened? Folks say it was on account of our silver and how Sir Radzig sided the king. Good luck to you. Hey, a ver si puedo hablar con Sir Riz. Could that be the smith's son, Hal? On my soul, it is him. What are you doing here, lad? We thought you were done for. I must speak with Sir Radzik. Is he here? He's in the palace with Sir Hanush of Ratai. They're feasting in the knight's hall. What do you want with him? My father made him a sword. He, um... He asked me to deliver it to Sir Radzik. I don't see any sword. No. Bandits attacked me and stole it. I need to tell his lordship what happened. And then I'm going to find the sword. Of course you are, Hal. Good luck. Thanks. Muchas gracias. Pues mira, sí. Puedo pasar. Pero... Está rompiendo un banquete. ¿Qué está todo? Ah. 
do that now. Guardia. ¿Dónde está? Ah, estarán en el gran salón o algo así. Están más arriba. Que nunca he entrado. Cinematica. Your graces, I have to tell you in all seriousness that this land of ours is in the shit. <laughs> Deep one. fucking shit. Don't you agree? I might not have put it as eloquently as you, Hanush, but I've been driven out of my own castle, so I'm hardly going to disagree. Indeed. But Pechstein is yours for as long as you need it. There's room enough for your men and you here at Rate, and I'm sure my ward won't have any objection to me lending you his castle. I'd be honored. Pechstein is at your disposal as long as you wish, Your Grace. Just as well you have another castle at the other end of town, eh? <laughs> ah, at any rate, I'm beholden to you, Sir Hans, and to you, Sir Hanosh. Mm. I don't like to speak ill of your people, Sir Radzik, but, well, there's no love lost between the townsfolk and the refugees. There's been talk of criminality. No, well, they'll have to get used to it until the situation's resolved. But when will it be resolved? And what on God's earth is this war even about? I won't lie, sir. I don't understand it. You aren't alone, father. I believe Sigismund's original intention was to persuade Wenceslas to accept the imperial crown and to leave the rule of Bohemia to him. Well, who could blame him? I know Wenceslas is a friend of yours, Radzig, but even you have to admit he brought it upon himself. I can't deny the king neglected affairs of state for other pursuits. There is a need for order <laughs> in the land, but I don't think the lords who sided with Sigismund realized just what Hungarian order looks like. <laughs> Hungarian order? <laughs> What concerns me, sir, is how a good Christian could resort to such brutality. To give him his due, I don't think he expected the lords of this country to stand behind the king. But thanks to him, we're tearing ourselves apart, and now he has to get things under control. But why in God's name does he have to use those barbarians? Money is the root of all evil, young sir. Wars are costly, and this one has dragged on for a year. Sigismund ran out of coin for knights, so he recruited those whore sons that settled in Hungary. The less he pays, the more they make up for it with plunder. That's why he attacked us. He was after our silver. What are you doing? You have no business here. Clear off. Wait, it's Henry. Henry, who disappeared after I clearly ordered him to remain at Taunberg. I'm sorry, sir, but I had to bury my parents. Had to? Do you think you were the only man who lost someone there? But the others listened to their lord. And it wasn't just your own life you nearly threw away. So Robard and his men risked theirs to save you. I'm sorry, but I had to. No, oh, there you go. When you have to, you have to, Radzik. <laughs> <laughs> your father was a remarkable man. And your mother, she was remarkable too. <laughs> they deserved a Christian burial. Did you manage that at least? No. I was attacked by thieves. I wouldn't be here now if it wasn't for that girl. Girl? The miller's daughter, Teresa. <laughs> the miller's daughter saved you from the footpads? Well, there's a tale to tell your children. Uh, I owe my life. She distracted them and then brought me to Ratai. But without a robard, we'd both be dead. Well, that's what I call a good woman. Hang on to that one, lad. Still, <laughs> it's a great shame your parents are buried in unconsecrated ground. That means purgatory for them. Be quiet, friar. I didn't invite you here to eat me out of house and home and deliver a sermon while you were doing it. <laughs> if you're so concerned, well, Father, maybe you should save the innocent souls of these fine Christians yourself. Go to Scalitz and consecrate their graves. 
I assure you, if you're killed by bandits, your soul will soar straight to heaven, as long as someone buries you in consecrated ground first. If there's anything left to bury, <laughs> that plump carcass of yours would be quite a feast for the wolves and the crows. <laughs> One it's, skeleton it's looks much body. like another, so how would we know which were your ordained bones or those of Sigismund's Tartars? Be that as it may, why have you come here? I must get your sword back. Sword? My sword hangs here at my side. No, the sword my father forged for you. One of those thieves stole it from me. They almost killed him and he already wants to go back. Takes after his father, I suppose. Lad, I've lost a castle, a village, silver mines and a good half of my subjects. Why would I miss one sword? Because it's the last one my father forged and I promised him I'd deliver it to you. I understand. I'd feel the same way. But prudence is the better part of valour. And a dead man keeps no promises. Aye. A woman had to save his fat from the fire and now he wants revenge. What kind of fool are you, boy? He's no fool. Henry, you have courage. But you need training, arms, a horse. Or do you mean to beat this thief at dice? No, sir. Please, take me into your service and give me the chance to learn these things. The gall of him! Fled from the enemy, disobeyed your orders, Dupe Sir Divish, lost your sword, put Sir Robard in danger with his actions, and now he wants a promotion. Sir Capon's right. What you say is certainly true, except for fleeing the enemy. You would have run as well, believe me. Henry's earned some punishment, but how do you punish someone who's already lost everything, hmm? Courage and blind obedience are good qualities for a soldier. But a wise man also appreciates loyalty, perseverance, and determination. Besides, that was a fine sword that his father made. If he thinks he can get it back, I won't turn it down. My lord, he's a peasant. You can't make a squire of a peasant. Why not? Someone made a priest of a pig. <laughs> he's a peasant father, he's a blacksmith. And recent events have left me in need of his skills. So... I'd like to enter my service. Sir, I... Yes, I would. You won't regret it. <laughs> oh, I probably will. <laughs> I'm doing this for your father, lad. Don't disappoint me. Oh, fortune has finally smiled on you today, lad. Make the most of it. Now that I think about it, Sir Hanush, the boy needs training and experience, and you need spear carriers. Hmm. That's true. Bailiff is always complaining about your people making trouble in the camp. Maybe one of their own among the guard might help. It might. In any event, it will prove valuable experience. <laughs> but let's be clear. You're the one paying him. <laughs> <laughs> Captain Bernard, see to his training, and then send him to the bailiff. Yes, sir. Is and it, uh, don't spare him. In, in none of my we'll eye on it, sir. Don't forget, Henry. Don't disappoint me. I won't, my lord. Well, dude. Ahora soy un soldado. De guerrero. Ahora soy... Pertenezco al, al ejército. Antes has aprendido... Circle de la IPA. No entrada. A ver. Después de que se convirtió en el lugar un ladrón y un rebelde, ¿por qué haber perdido? Oh, vale. Misión de ir al campo de ahí y hablar con el capitán Bernard. Oh, vale. Eh, eh. No. Aquí. Tengo que ir aquí. Y yo creo que estoy por esta zona. 
Más o menos. Voy para esta zona, salir. Vale. Entonces, esto se llamará. Mi inicio como soldado. ¿Eh? ¿No me quieres hablar, cacha cabrón? A ver, este me va, me, me acompaña. Tú. Uh. Sacerdote hijo de puta. No es que. No me querí, No quieres que sea yo un. un soldado. Esta es la mierda. Barrigón borracho. <risa> Espérate, espérate. Mi señor. O sea, capitán. Ahora, ahora es mi capitán. Cuando tiene prisa, eh. Vaya. Traspásalo. Pedra es tuya, espadero. Rueda de pilar. Panadero. Ahí hay, ahí hay un, uno pidiendo. Mercader. Otro mercader. Un ternero. Voy a darme un poco de prisa porque panadero. ¿Por qué está dejando atrás? ¿Camina más que yo? No, lo mejor es la ropa. Una taberna. I'm glad to hear things worked out for you. Ay, got for the nightmares. Cazador. La iglesia donde estará el sacerdote cabrón ese. Herrero. Campo de tiro con arco, una rueda de pilar, ah, voy más rápido porque si no, voy detrás del tío y el tío va más rápido que yo. Arena de combate, donde. Lucharé, pero cuando sepa pe luchar de verdad, porque me van a pegar una paliza. Esto, ah, vale, para, seguramente para tirar. Ya me está... Vamos 
allá. Aquí estoy en la arena de combate. Aquí estamos. God be with you. I'm here for training. Yes, you know that boy Sir Radzik sent. Oh, that's... Yes, that's it. Yes, that's it. Yes, that's me. Let's get to it then, since that's what Sir Radzik wishes. Uh, and because you've never held a sword in your hand before, we'll start with something simpler. Very well. Come with me and listen closely. I don't want to be repeating myself. May the Lord watch over you. Is in here. Well, let's see what you're made of. Hold it properly. Keep moving. Never stand still when your life depends on it. Right, good. Now, try attacking. You've got to put your back into a good slash. No use waving the sword around like you're swatting flies. Go into the attack with your whole body. Try slashing from various sides to get used to it. <sighs> Not bad. <sighs> All right. <sighs> nice. <sighs> good. <sighs> Well done. Very good. That pointy tip isn't for decoration. Try stabbing me with it a few times. Not bad. Good. Very good. That will do. Slashing, stabbing, and movement are the foundations that you build everything else on. Now, let's try something more complicated. One strike, I can simply fend off. You mustn't give your opponent time to react. String your strikes together. As soon as you finish one, begin another. Strike, strike, strike. Got it. Very good. <sighs> Oh, quickly! Nice! What is it? Good! Now let's see how you do with defense. It's not hard to block a basic strike. Just watch out and move your sword into the path of the blow. Uh. Very good. Oh, well there. done. Yes. No. Oh, yes, yes. Again. Oh. No. Again. Out. Wrong! Again! Ow. All right! Not uh. bad! Ow. Ah, that's it! Uh, Very well then. Let's see what you're made of, lad. Come at me and don't hold back. Oh, yeah. Ow. Mm. Good strike! Yes. Um. Ah. Oh, yeah. Yes. 
Hostia. Yes. See, I lure you, then attack unexpectedly. Fine. That's enough. I have my work cut out, it seems. That's impossible. Let's try something more advanced. When in combat, keep an eye on the space between you and your opponent. That is your space. Try to attack from the side the opponent will find harder to block in time. If I'm holding the sword raised up, do an uppercut. If my sword is low, lunge. Let's try it. You strike a few times at the side where I'm not holding my sword. That's it. Ah, nice. Ah, that's it. Well done. Ah, not bad. Right, lesson two. Everything you've learned about blocking is wrong. When I cover, I can simply fend off your blows with my sword and gain control of the space between us. But it's better not to control just the space, but actually your opponent's weapon. Attack, and I'll show you. All right, that will do. Now you. The trick is to stay in your stance. As soon as I start to attack, you block. The move knocks the blade aside. <sighs> no, not like that. You uh. mustn't hold the sword there. You have to move along with the attack. Again. Ah. Too soon again. Very good. Ah, vale. <clears throat> Try and catch the rhythm. You see the sword move, you move at the same time and deflect it. Ah. Wrong. Again. Ah. Ah, that's it. Well done. Ow. Not bad. Ow. Well done. Right, now we'll try it a little faster. Concentrate and block just at the moment I start attacking. I'll strike you from above each time so you can see it well. Is it? Well done. Ow. Not bad. Ah. Good. Very good. Good, good. Now let's try it at full speed. You probably won't succeed, but that's normal at the start. You must train. Let's go. Wait a while, Henry. Your greetings, Sir Hans. What brings you here? 
I was on my way when I noticed that you're entertaining Sir Radzig's esteemed guest. Not the same as holding a hammer, is it, blacksmith? It's Sir Radzig's orders. I know. I'm actually here to train in the archery range. My hand's grown heavy lately. You don't mind, do you, Bernard? Not at all, my lord. I don't care. Good day to you, blacksmith boy. Try not to hurt yourself. Hijo de puta. O sea, estoy entrenando con él. Where did we finish? Yeah, leading the opponent where you want him. There's one more way to evade a strike. You simply step aside, attack, and I'll show you. What are you waiting for? All right, try it. It's important not to move too soon. I'll see where you're going and hit you. That the same will happen if you move too late. I'll attack slowly now. As you see me, raise the weapon, jump aside. It'll throw the opponent off a bit, and there's your chance. Wrong! All right. No. Muy demasiado tarde. Very good. Fine. Now try it a little quicker. Try and get used to the rhythm. Never take your eyes off your opponent. You'll see a strike before it's even properly started. Yes. Well done. Ah, right, that's it. Very good. Oh, go. And the last thing for today, a trick. You raise the sword to force your opponent to block, but then change the direction of the attack at the last moment, and the opponent won't even know what hit him. Try it. Draw back the weapon, then change the attack zone and strike, so I don't have time to react. Yeah. Uh. All right. Yeah. Yeah. Wrong! Yeah. Nice! Yeah. Nice! Mm. Very good! Yeah. Let's go! Not like that! Yeah. Wrong! Again! Very good. Well, now, that wasn't too bad. Maybe we'll make a soldier of you after all. But don't get cocky. You have to train hard and persistently. You might have talent, but talent alone won't do. Practice. Whenever you've got nothing better to do and you're in the mood for it, you can come and train here with me. I can teach you something more when you're up to it. <sighs> Don't leave yet. Sir Radzik also wanted me to teach you archery. Come with me. I can't play a data. When I was doing my essay.
Ay, sorry, traspasando. Traspasando, ay. La taberna. A ver qué pasa ahora. El, el niñato es. Hmm. Let's see then. Take this bow, go and stand in position over there, and we can start. And another thing, put on this arm guard. Without it, you could flay your forearm with a bowstring, so be sure to wear it. Thank you, Captain. Save the thanks and get in position. Now concentrate. A bow ain't exactly the weapon of choice of a knight, but it can come in very handy. You've got two bandits coming at you from a distance. You shoot one in the eye, drop your bow, and draw your sword on the other. Emperor Charles, God rest him, encouraged his subjects to learn archery. He even organized contests in Prague. But you wouldn't have gotten far there. You're holding the thing like a piece of firewood. <laughs> but enough talk. There's the target. Try and hit it. Draw the bow, aim, and release. Try to get a feel for the rhythm. Inhale on the draw, hold your breath for a moment, and then release the string. No jerky movements, just let the string slide out of your fingers, as if you were about to draw it back more. It's all one movement. Has anyone told Arrow you you're aiming at the to target shoot at the flying target. At it. Shoot away. What you have there is a training bow. The arrow drops quickly. Once you've trained a bit, you can get yourself a better Oh, they can't. My love. Please tell so me what's rather you see you. Don't forget the arm guard. Once you've mastered the bow a bit, you won't need it anymore. Ah! Uh, Maybe the fellow's short-sighted. <laughs> Qué malo soy disparando. Ahora algo me dirá el, el idiota ese. Well, that was awful. I didn't imagine a village yokel like you would have much skill, but you failed to meet even my low expectations. I don't know why you're wasting your time, Sir Bernard. Nothing will come of him anyway, and at the first sign of trouble, he'll run away like any other cowardly peasant. After all, he's done it before. Uh, well, what did you say? Well, Calm down, boy. Keep in mind who you're talking to. A braggart who was born with a silver spoon in his mouth. Now you've really done it. You'll go to the stocks for that. Calm yourself, Sir Bernard. If the blacksmith's boy feels he can prove himself, then let him try. Do you think you can beat me? Well, any time. Uh. Very well. If you defeat me, I'll give you my bow. If you lose, you'll have to pay up. Do you even have any coin? I have enough. Good. Then let's get to it. Será o casa? Ay, dia. Congratulations, Sir Hans. Nicely shot. Thank you, Bernard. It seems I get to keep the bow. So, blacksmith, do you know your place now, or do you need more reminding? 
Sir Hans, is this necessary? Sir Hanish has already had words about you fighting with your subjects. He explicitly told me. I know what he told you. You can just tell him I didn't listen to you. So what's it going to be, blacksmith? If we must. Excellent. Then let's go. Ay, me cago en la madre que lo parió. Come and get it. Uh, <laughs> Here. Go ahead and gather your strength, you'll... <laughs> 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 Did that hurt? Yeah. Yeah. Now you're done for. Ugh. 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 
A second defeat, blacksmith. You still have a lot to learn. I suppose I should give you credit for taking on my challenge, despite your limitations. Thank you, sir. And since we made an honest bet, you can give me my money now. Tengo que entrenarla. Don't fret about it, lad. Lord Capon is a good swordsman, and if by some fluke you actually won, well, you might not take it so well. Mm -hmm. Now go to the rat house. The bailiff's waiting for you there. All right, Captain. Bueno, esta es mi misión, mi primera misión. Ahora y después iré al marino. Hasta luego.